back, everybody. My name is Tank. Today, I want to talk to you guys about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. I'll be giving you my thoughts about where we are in the market as well as where I think we might be going in the short to near future. Before I jump into the charts, I'm going to remind you guys I do have a giveaway happening on this channel where I will be giving away a free 50 inch flat screen TV to one lucky subscriber once we hit 1,000 subs. So if you guys like what you just heard, you want to be supportive, hit that like button. Don't forget to sub to the channel because you could win an absolutely free 50 inch flat screen TV just for subbing to the channel. It's not hard. Go ahead, hit that sub button. All you got to do is hit it and quit it. Just forget about it. You could win the TV. It's that easy. Mm. With that being said, guys, let's do like we always do and look at CoinMarketCap before we take a look at the charts. Right now, we're sitting at $2.01 trillion for the total market cap of crypto. We have come down yet again for the total market cap. I'm not surprised. I told you guys about two videos ago. In fact, I made the warning shot to both bulls and bears to be ready for a move to the downside. I knew that this could possibly happen, guys. We just pumped up major. We came up to 50,000, almost $51,000 for Bitcoin's price. Whenever we get to that big major level of resistance, we're going to be seeing big volatility come in on the charts for these assets, guys. And guess what? We're going through that right now. I'm not freaking out just yet. This is totally normal. In fact, like I said, this was to be expected. You should be expecting healthy drawdowns or pullbacks in order for us to see healthy price increases in the future. If things just pump, 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 that's unhealthy. Things need to correct at some point time and they usually correct around big levels of resistance which is big round hole numbers we did it at 30 we did it at 40 we're going to do it at 50 you know and as it climbs higher and higher it's going to get worse and worse that's just a realistic part of what's going to happen guys i'm being totally honest with you as we increase in price more people will be taking profits guys that's normal that's in fact what i tell you guys to do all the time take profits while they're there to be realized this is just the ebb and flow of the market with that being said, let's take a look at the top 10 coins to see how they've been doing over the past seven days. Bitcoin's still up 4%, Ethereum's up 2.4%, Cardano's up 23.8%, BNB's up 15.6%, XRP's down 2.4%, Dogecoin's down 9.2%, Polkadot's down 3.1%, and Solana's back up 7.7%. So half and half of these coins in the top 10 list still doing fairly well. In fact, I will say excluding Dogecoin because it is what it is, right? But it's still there. Most of the good projects within the top 10 list that aren't running into uh, some legal problems, XRP <coughs> or uh, Dogecoin, which is a meme coin. <coughs> uh, you know, I don't know why I coughed on that one, whatever. What the hell was that call for? I have no idea. But, you know, those two have their issues and they're down. Big whoop did he do that? That most of the good coins in the top 10 list are still doing fairly well. Just some perspective, guys. I'm not freaking out just yet. Matter of fact, let me just add a couple more things. Uh, for your perspective plate for you to eat uh, again. I'm not lecturing you guys, but I just want to Drill into you guys uh, What the big picture looks like for Bitcoin and its recent price action guys? This is where we're at currently, right? This is the whole pump starting from the 21st of last month We've been through these dance moves before matter of fact. We've been to this dance We're coming back with Shelly our old girlfriend Which we should be totally comfortable with and we're doing the same old cha-cha and twist that we've done a million times before Why are you guys freaking out just yet now? There is room for concern, but I'm just saying why is everybody freaking out? We knew this was happening if you would do your homework outside of the charts options are coming tomorrow They're closing tomorrow. There's some bearish needs that have to have to happen every Friday there's some bearish needs that happen, have to happen every Saturday and Sunday as well be, before options open on Sunday afternoon. Have you guys forgotten that? As we get closer and closer to those bigger numbers, those options are going to be bigger and bigger. There's going to be higher calls and puts placed. We're just going through the same old dance routine. Now, I'm not discrediting it. Of course, this is crypto. This could be the red button moment, right? This could be the dump it moment. But I'm just saying, until it actually breaks certain levels on the charts, I wouldn't go freaking out just yet. Right now, we've seen Bitcoin go through a 12.52% correction that took about four to five days to play out. This 8.42% correction, which is still currently worse than what we're going through right now, took four days before we corrected. I think it was four or three days. Let me make absolutely sure so I don't put my foot in my mouth. Actually, it was, yeah, it was about uh, three and a half days before it corrected. Right now, what we're going through is about the same stinking thing that we just went through. Actually, let's put it right on the line to where we're at. We're at 7.2%, and this has taken us three days, four hours. We're doing better than we did before, and we still saw 
higher price increases on Bitcoin's chart. Again, just perspective. Another thing I want to show you guys, if I use the Fibonacci retracement tool, which is a fantastic tool, if you guys don't know how to use Fib lines, definitely do yourself a favor and do your homework and find out how to use extensions, uh, retracements, time-based Fibs. They're fantastic. They're magic. If you can learn how to use them in conjunction with the other oscillator indicator tools, they are magic. But let me show you guys just by using the simple Fibonacci retracement going from the high of recent price action down to where we started this pump. Guys, we're sitting right here basically, or we came down basically down to that 786 Fibonacci line, just like we, we should. They're magic. We're actually above it right now. We could come down to this Fib line and still be A-OK. -okay. Seriously, we could be A-OK. -okay. This could be totally normal. In fact, if we go from the high recently down to the Fib line, that'd still be less than a 10% drawdown. You know, if you're not used to double digit drawdowns or nine or 8% drawdowns uh, in crypto, you have not been in this space long enough. And I just want to let you guys know it's absolutely normal. Uh, this is crypto. Like, seriously, get used to that. It's not going to change, not for a while at least. So it is what it is, guys. We are where we are. I don't want you guys freaking out just yet. I'm going to take off everything I have here on the upper section of the charts and show you guys what's going on with Insight. I know I spent a lot of time just ranting to you guys, and I apologize. Most of you guys don't even listen to all of that stuff, but I wish you guys would because it would give you guys some perspective. Uh, on Insight, on the lower section of the chart here, you can see on the four-hour time frame that we are getting pretty deep with our anchor wave. These anchor waves are these here. Uh, that is usually a good indicator of selling pressure exhausting itself. Um, I'm not selling. I'm not telling you that it quite is yet exhausted because there's always room to come back down further. I myself like to see them come down to that 60 line on the lower section of the charts here before taking a position. And then I also want to see these RSI start pointing back upwards as well. Uh, they're not doing that just yet on the four hour time frame, but this uh, four hour candle still has about two, about an hour and 20 minutes left to confirm. So I'm waiting it out on the four hour time frame. If I go to the three hour time frame, you can see that the RSI did start flattening out and trying to point back upwards. We have gotten kind of a deep anchor wave, but we have not got totally deep just yet. Uh, this still has about 20 minutes to play out, so I'm waiting that out as well. On the two hour time frame, you can see that the R, or the anchors have started to curve. The RSIs are giving us mixed signals. One of them's coming back up, one of them's still pointing back down. Uh, so there's that. On the one hour time frame, you can see that um, the RSIs are back up and we did just get a buy signal on Insight not too long ago. The cool thing about Insight also is there's a panel that you can get with Insight that shows you guys uh, other time frames without having to go through them all. And as you guys can see here on the lower time frames that I have set, there's a lot of green or buying signals coming up. Uh, so hopefully that that transitions through the higher time frames as well. But I think it's really cool. You can go to like the four hour right here. It'll pop up. There's a little bit of lag on trading view. But yeah, you can go from the four to the two to the one to the three or the 30 minute without even actually manually going through it. I think that's really cool. I use it a lot. I don't use it while I'm making these videos because I like to manually go through the time frames with you guys. But I think that's really, really cool. If you guys need uh, an oscillator indicator tool like Insight, I highly suggest uh, come and checking out the Discord group which is linked down below. There's a lot of people here that use Insight. There's a lot of like-minded individuals also who share their thoughts about the market each and every day, unbiased opinions each and every day. Our focus is to remain positive and make as much money as possible within the Discord. So if you are like mine, I highly consider checking us out, guys. Click the link below, introduce yourself, and then get to know the group, guys. If you're cool, if you're a positive person, I think it can be really beneficial to you. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on over to Ethereum. Ethereum is just trading within this ascending uh, channel, I guess is what you want to call it. We've basically been going sideways, which is unfortunate, but I will still say, I do think that here shortly, Ethereum will pop. It's it's primed to pop. We've been going sideways and consolidating for a time, guys. We have been doing that, what, how long has this been going on for? To where we are now? About 18 days now. 18 days. A little over half of a month. I'm, I think I'm ready, and I think Ethereum is ready to just pop. Do your thing, girl. Just pop. Uh, right now, though, nothing to freak out about. We've been going through this dance routine. Like I said, we've, we've gone down to support and resistance quite a few times for Ethereum uh, price action. And right now, we're just coming back down to support. Hopefully, it holds up for a third time, but we will see. Don't front run the market. Uh, from the four-hour time frame using Insight, again, actually, let's pop up that panel and get an idea of what it's telling us. The panel on the four hour red, two hour red, one hour green, 
30 minute green, the rest of it's all red. So let's actually take a look and confirm that. Just manually going down the time frames. As you guys can see on the three hour, oops, I didn't even do the four hour. The four hour, we do have an anchor wave being created. The RSIs have not yet turned around or flattened out just yet. So be patient. It still has about an hour and 16 minutes for that four hour, just like Bitcoin. The three hour time frame, same thing. The RSIs have flattened out just right here, just like Bitcoin. We have gotten a pretty deep anchor wave, but nothing just yet as far as a buy signal goes. So there could be some more further price action to the downside. On um, the two hour time frame, we did just recently get a buy signal that will confirm in about an hour and 16 minutes. If that confirms, maybe we catch some more momentum for Ethereum. Highly unlikely though, because the rest of the time frames are all showing us selling pressure. On the one hour time frame, it does look like things are looking much better, but that needs to transfer over to the higher time frames as well uh, before I take a position. Uh, so that it is what it is. We are where we are again uh, with Ethereum, guys. I told you guys what was happening in the Reddit forums with uh, people talking about miners kind of attacking the gas uh, part of the transactions for Ethereum, bogging that down and trying to make things as difficult as possible in uh, opposition of what's going to be happening inevitably, whether they like it or not, uh, as far as ETH 2.0 being released. Um, there's that going on. And then also there's just, you know, it follows Bitcoin, unfortunately. Maybe one day it will break away, but uh, right now it's still following Bitcoin. So until, you know, until something turns around, I think we will just go sideways. And until those miners uh, get pushed out of whatever war they're trying to fight, which I think is just, I think it's futile anyway. Like, honestly, guys, I give you guys my thoughts about that the other day. Like, it's a bunch of miners banding together. There's only, you're only as strong as your weakest link. At some point, one of the, a few of the miners are going to say, like, I can't keep this up financially or for whatever reason. You're going to get outlasted. You're not going to outlast the Ethereum ecosystem. You're just not. I don't like it's futile in my opinion. I'm a miner myself. I you know I have a decent setup. I have about 20, 20 something cards mining Ethereum, but I got into Ethereum knowing that ETH 2.0 was going to be rolling out sometime in the future. You know, who knows when it actually will be, but I knew it was going to be coming and, and that uh, that mining uh, would not be a, a thing for me to do indefinitely. It was going to get taken from me at some point. But I knew that going into it. And I, I just don't understand why they're bitching and moaning about it. Sorry for cussing. But if you guys would have known before buying all your hardware and started mining, you guys would have known that, you know, inevitably this would be taken away from you guys. It's been in the works for years. So I have no idea what you guys are complaining about or saying like people don't care about you guys. Everybody knew what was going to be happening. I knew it as a miner. Like, forget your feelings. This isn't about feelings. Like, that's not how this works. Um, but anyway, that's just my rant again. I just don't understand it. Uh, going to the more bullish things about ETH, guys. Let me remind you, there's less and less ETH on exchanges. Do your homework. That's a fact. There's less and less ETH on exchanges for people to buy or sell. With scarcity comes higher price values. Also, the burning mechanism that they introduced with EIP-1559 is also increasing that scarcity uh, topic. There's more ETH being burnt than being put back into supply. Yes, there's an infinite supply of ETH, but right now and so far, that burning mechanism has been burning more ETH than they've been putting back into the supply. So again, a supply shock is a real thing for ETH, guys. With scarcity comes increased value. If you're patient, you probably will be rewarded handsomely. Not financial advice, just a suggestion. Just something to think about. Be patient. Don't be so erratic and, and emotional about these honestly normal swings that we see in the market uh with that being said let's go take a look at ada ada right now trading at two dollars and sixty cents basically uh i have the fibonacci retracement tool just like i had on bitcoin's chart guys uh we went from the high down to the low uh or recent low to be honest with you um and we are sitting right on that fib line that 0.618 fib line which again fibs they hold up magically right they're awesome uh, hopefully we can hold up this fib line if not though i will be putting massive buy orders down here in the golden pocket i do not think that we're going to be seeing major major corrections like some of these other coins uh as far as ada goes uh there's way too much bullish things happening for ada uh just recently we saw japan uh get ada listed on their exchanges also you know come the 12th of next month smart contracts roll out is this the shakeout before the breakout could be could be remember Remember guys, even with Bitcoin, options open up or are closed tomorrow and they open up on Sunday. What have you been seeing over the past few weeks? Is this a shakeout before the breakout? Could be.
With that being said, not financial advice. Remember, always protect yourself. Be ready for all three scenarios in crypto. There's always only three things that can happen. Either we dump, we go sideways, or we pump, guys. Remember that. Be ready for all three scenarios, and you will last in this game. With that being said, stay blessed. Peace.